Hello everyone and welcome to Factorio. I'm Par and it's C block time. Let's see what's uh, happening. For the first time in this playthrough, we are below 55 updates per second. Yay! Achievement unlocked. Uh, this is, uh, I believe, not really due to the base, but uh, because uh, I'm rendering another episode right now, so the CPU, I guess, is busy. Because uh, I don't really see what would be causing it now, right? Let's see if we look at active chunks. Uh, let me actually change a little bit the thing. I don't think I'm interested in the counts because I don't get the counts that I actually care about. So yeah, we have some activity going on somewhere. I don't actually know how active chunks are, like how these purple squares are detected uh, since Factorio version 1.1 .1, where they changed uh, like the association of active chunks, like how, sorry, not active, just active entities, how active entities are, are managed and to keep track of. So in the past they used to be assigned, kind okay, of no, attached to the chunk, but now they are like, they live in like global list or something. Alright, let's see. This thing, why is it not working? I thought we finished uh, Bobmonium in the previous episode. I thought we did. All right. I need to tell this thing that we actually need Bobmonium. All right, let's copy this. Let's reduce lots of Bobmonium. I should probably done it in the previous episode to be honest. Okay, this is looking up. Connect it up. This one connected correctly. This one correctly, correctly. I just want to double check everything. Okay, correctly. Yep, all of this is looking good. Let's double check again that we are getting the materials in. We are getting something. Right. We are getting Bobmonium from all the lines. Nice. So we just need a little bit more of uh, this uh, filter frames. And uh, yeah, obviously we need to finish uh, this part of the build. And it's gonna work. It's gonna work just fine. Here we have everything placed correctly. Awesome. Let's see. What do we know? What do we need to do today? We need to build blocks for tier two plates. Do we actually? Because we have all tier two plates that we need. Maybe. Yeah, we have everything. What else do we need? I, I think this is uh, outdated. Plastic and resin and pure copper ore. Right. So, the main issue that we have here. Actually, we have two issues. The main one is the fact that we don't have copper. And the second issue is that we don't have enough plastic to produce these things. And these things, right, they're missing copper, but we do, sorry, we're missing plastic, but we do have some copper. I don't know, what should I prioritize? What is the priority? I kind of feel like uh, copper might be more important, to be honest. And let me... I want to maybe stop requesting... Lead? Or... I don't know. Do we actually need the door here? Ah. Let's skip it. Let's uh, produce lots of copper. 
I feel like that we have uh, more immediate need for the copper. Okay. So we have something inland field here. And uh, yeah, our robots are busy. We don't really have a really good production of robots, but it's, it's okay. So what we want to do here, we want to pretty much have uh, this kind of process, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. What? Six plus six, really? And here what we have? Four, five. Here we have seven. Let's, um, let's see. I want to produce lots of copper. And the question, do I need... I guess I, I want a lot of copper ore, right? Um, or should I process this stuff directly? You know, let's go for the ore. Let's make a simple block, reducing copper ore. And uh, we need, say I want to have a lot of the stuff. So let's say like really a lot. We want to produce a lot of copper we need for that 40 certain facilities, but we could actually decrease it to 30. Okay, this, this is looking better. So we need 30 certain facilities. So if we split it into four, no, we cannot. We can. Okay, one belt, one red belt, can bring fifteen. Sorry, can bring thirty. It's like fifteen plus fifteen. So this thing needs to be split into four lines. Right, and each line will be eight certain facilities long, I think. Right, let's do this. Let's do this. Robots, we are really counting on you to landfill this area. We have a lot of landfill. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, you doing the job. Let's take a look. This part is uh, working, working. I mean, this is not the best, you know, production of the ore, but it's self-powered, right? That's that's good, and uh, it gives like 15 hour per second. That's pretty good, I would say. We, we can probably increase it uh, later on, but for now. It, it's pretty good. If you know, we expanded in the previous episode. Like, we increased our production, like our production, by a lot. Uh, let's uh, proceed with building this area. So while this is happening, let's take a look at the plastic and prepare for the plastic, right? Because uh, we want plastic uh, to be, like, we, we want to fix our plastic uh, production later on. What do we need here? We need liquid plastic. That's okay. We'll get it using the same process. We'll just scale existing process. Simple, right? And uh, here we need to put uh, one. Okay, so we need urea, formaldehyde, and propane. Okay. Propane, 
what do we do in here? We are building it from a different kind of from Napsa. I guess from this one, from methanol. And this one, we have Puria. We will get it. We have a. No, not carbon. We have a. Dementicate. From methanol. So we need a lot of methanol. Right, and we need some carbon dioxide. Okay, we can do that. Let's see. We are missing carbon dioxide. Ammonia. How do we get ammonia? We are getting ammonia from this process that requires nitro nitrogen. It's simple. And uh, this one. I guess it's a bit tricky, but it's also not that uh, complicated. Right. Okay. We have it. Basically, we got it. So, the only thing that are remaining, we need purified water, a catalyst, we'll get them, and methanol, and carbon dioxide. And here we need methanol and steam. And steam, we'll get it from charcoal. Nice. So, now, let's produce methanol. Methanol, methanol will be produced from this process. Right. Um, let's remove this one. I don't want it here. And let's remove hydrogen. I don't want it here either. Right, let's take another look. So, methanol will be produced like this. And we need this thing is as straightforward. This is as straightforward. Carbon dioxide. Let's build it. Uh, we need it only here, right? And here. Okay, we need it for two things. Let's say we are producing carbon dioxide on charcoal. We need 16 charcoal. Okay, that's a lot. That's actually a lot. Uh, but I want to import this because it's a huge amount and uh, Hopefully our existing kind of charcoal production uh, should be like will be able to handle it. We'll, we'll see. Alright, um, what else do we need? We need hydrogen and nitrogen. For nitrogen, I hope it will not be too complicated. Right, nitrogen is simple and hydrogen might be a little bit 35 Wow Okay What about this one? 18 That's uh, Unfortunate This is uh, kind of kind of bad. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to produce this much. We need a lot of hydrogen here. And we need hydrogen for what? We need hydrogen for methanol. And methanol is needed mostly for what? Methanol is needed mostly for plastic. Okay, this uh, this is not how I expected this thing to go. Do we have other options for methanol?
methanol. How can we produce it? Okay, not usage production. Can get it from carbon dioxide and hydrogen. It's fine. Can get it from methane. And from cellulose fiber. Actually, isn't this a bad? Isn't this a good option? Um, let's try. Let's say we want to produce this and carbon dioxide. We want to produce methanol. Methanol. But we want to get it from this process. Will it actually work? Right. Let's see? Methanol. For that we'll need 75 wood. No, that's, uh, that's just too much. That is too much. Okay. Okay. I guess uh, that's it. Right. I, I guess that is the way um, it will be. Right. One here. No. We have a... Uh, Yeah. Yeah, we basically need like elks. Actually, we need quite a bit of uh, aluminium and uh, silver for this one. But it all like it all looks doable and kind of reasonable. The numbers are not that uh, large. The only tricky part is really fitting this thing in to produce hydrogen. This requires a lot of hydrogen. And I'm not even convinced about using this process, to be honest. I, I don't think I want that. Um, let's, let's just get a regular one, the simpler one. I mean, the other one is two times faster. What if you take this thing? Can we produce electrolyzer 3, by the way? Do we have it or not? Electrolyzer 3. We can produce it, we have everything. Wait, so I might as well just go with this process, maybe. This is not how it's supposed to look. What's going on here? Now it's working correctly, and I just want to get the water from here. Let's say we'll have a uh, we'll base in this one. So it's like 9 to 27, so it's 1 to 3. Okay, let's, uh, let's maybe build this part first. This should be significantly easier. Just that the robots are a bit slow with land filling. So, let's see. We'll produce a lot of hydrogen. A lot of it. And uh, let's take a look. This will be happening here, right? We will not have local production of charcoal. We will be requesting charcoal. We can actually change the request uh, right now. Because I want to clear the space. For... Where is it? I want to clear the space for the production of... Uh, like for the scaled up version of, of this build. Right, let's say we want to... 
I mean, I, I kind of want, honestly, I want full... trains for this thing. Like this. Nice. So, we should get a lot of things delivered here. And we'll request charcoal. And, and we'll provide charcoal from here. From this side. Just deliver it right here. And it's gonna work. Nice. Nice, let's see. How can we fit? How can we fit 27 of this? It's a lot of electrolyzers and they want a lot of water. I'm kind of doing two things at the same time, but it's just preparation for the build, like not a real one, right? Let's say we'll have one, two, three, right? this for it to work we, we don't really have uh, quite enough space to clarify things but I, I'd like to be able to clarify stuff something like this and how much do we need to clarify we need to clarify not a lot of selling water to be honest not a lot Maybe we should keep it, uh, like, maybe we should perform clarification somewhere else, kind of separately. Alright, let's see. So, we'll have this process here that gives good water right here. This is a good one. This is a good one. We want this to be connected, but maybe not from here. Maybe from here. I, I don't know. We could give this build the water from right here, in theory. Right? We could we could give the water from here. Which should allow us to almost connect it like this. Mm. So this is not ideal. I uh, will need to move it by one tile away. Right. And uh, once it's moved a little bit away. We could... Actually, we don't even need to move it away. My bad. My bad. I don't have to do this. We can make it work like this. Right? Okay. This one. And here we just need to have a connection. Like this. Nice, look at this. So, with uh, such build, we we basically just need to copy it seven times. Kind of for it to work, not really. We have enough space. 
Um, let's see how, how many can we fit on one line. Let's see. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. So we can fit 15 here. And bas yeah, basically we'll be able to build like 30 of this around here. That's good. That is good. And we'll just need to deal with this uh, um, clarification of the stuff that we have lots of uh, room to clarify it properly. Nice. This is pretty good. So we basically have uh, this part of the build dedicated to production of hydrogen. And it's not even a lot. Like, it doesn't seem to be a really uh, huge number. That's good. So we have we have the plan. Now, this one. What's the plan here? plan is we need to give... We need to give robots access to this things. This will be a station about copper, right? This is ore, copper, input. And since it's the input one, we need to use the transformer and maybe a couple of uh, of accumulators. Let's do this. Couple of accumulators. Nice. Now, this part will be mostly built. This one will be copper output. And we'll be providing a lot of ores. So now the question is how do I place What's, what was this? Like 30? Mm, yes, 30 or certain facilities. Like, this build looks really, really simple, to be honest. Like, if you look at that, it's kind of straightforward what's happening here. It would be better to uh, process this copper further up to the plates, but. Um, I don't really want to. I want this one to work and to have kind of priority. Not, not to have priority, but I, I want this one to work. But how much copper can we actually produce? Maybe this will not actually be enough. Uh, let, let's see. What would it take for us to produce copper plate instead? Or maybe even, maybe even this uh, one, of the shit coil. Where is the shit coil? Here it is. Of the shit coil. We can produce it even now. Interesting. So, what would it take us to build this? Thing? Let's see. I I'm just uh, exploring things a little bit. Okay, so we need lots of copper ingots. We can get them using this process. I don't want to use sulfuric uh, acid on that, to be honest. I'll just use this process. And for that, we need only 80 ore. Okay, but this requires a lot of strain casting machines. A lot and the ratio seems to be one to kind of two not really but I, I think the best one we get is if you do it one to two so the question which one should I use should I use this process if I say a bit of oxygen 
and we'll have lots of coils and then we'll be able to adjust the stations to use coils instead of plates and this is a, like this should be enough for the science for the blue science and the copper or and it will take some uh, of this okay i know what i'm gonna do i will do it in a way that we are producing lots of ore we will export ore for now but later on we'll add an option to export a copper sheet coil and we will have like we will give this process a priority right so that's how it's gonna work we initially now will focus on um, just providing some ore and we can actually do it right here i think uh let's say we are taking this build Oh, not this one, I want the longer one, this one. Let's say I'm taking this one. And uh, I want to place it here. This is the output. So, this is kind of the output, except there are some extra things here that are not really needed us right now okay let's see this part has one two three four five six seven and we want we want we want to have 30 but we want four lines right so we want actually eight we don't want seven we want eight how can we uh, do it? And maybe delete this one and just copy this thing. It might just fit. Right, it fits. And we need to give it the output. Okay, let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight. divided by 4, the input is uh, 30, 15 plus 15, and a little bit of mineral catalysts, nice. So you can place these things like 4 rows of those, and the tricky part is to somehow create this connection, right? because this one is, this one is straightforward. shouldn't really be complicated to just, uh, you know, split a belt, producing, like, uh, providing mineral catalysts. The tricky part would be to combine two belts. <coughs> Say maybe, maybe like this combine two belts and to have one of those being delivered there. Mm. Let's see, we have two more here. Actually, I kind of like what I see here. This is uh, ending up being pretty compact, which is good. And we should be able to even give it a little bit more space over there. So let's move all of this down by uh, three. One, two, three. Right, and we can move this thing down by three as well. Um, one, two, three. What? 
I'm not sure what exactly happened here because it's supposed to be here, I think. No. No, not like this. Yeah, pop in. We'll do it like this. I am really getting confused by what exactly I'm doing at this point. Alright, let's see. So this part will be connected. This one will need a connection like this. And this one, we don't, we don't need, really need undergrounds here, let's, let's remove some of them, I want to remove some of them, yeah, okay, this is how this part will uh, look, of, like this part of our build will look, we will produce a lot of uh, copper, one thing to keep in mind with this copper, so this copper will go kind of forward and will load it, let's say somewhere, somewhere here, we'll load these two lines here, but we also want to deliver the copper kind of to the side, like, uh, we'll fix the part later, it's okay. It's okay, we don't have to think about this too much right now. We'll just make it somehow work and uh, then we'll figure out everything else later. So the important part is to get copper ore. Uh, getting uh, coils or plates in the same block is just like an extra bonus that we can do uh, later in order to reduce uh, the amount of trains that uh, we have to send, right? And we do have space here, at least to some extent, right? Maybe it will not be like a full uh, thing, but there is some. So what's the problem here? How come? Wait, we are not able to provide enough power to the network? Wow, it's because of the... Well, it's because of transformers. Wow. This is uh, very surprising. We're experiencing power problems. And we have three plants. One, two, three. We have three plants and we have uh, power issues. Wow, I didn't expect that. I thought we have uh, power problems uh, solved, like once and for all. I, I thought we basically not a concern anymore. All right, let's uh, continue. We need to give this thing. Uh, Mineral catalyst, right? And we want to be producing a lot of copper. Okay, nice. And for copper, we need mineral catalyst, stereotype, and cretinium. So this will be our stereotype, and this will be our cretinium. Double check. Everything is looking fine. We can connect this part. And what else we can do? Can get this thing? And copy it here. And we can actually 
landfill this area. We'll get it. Right now. And uh, we can uh, actually do it. So let's say I have a copy. Yeah, right? I can copy it probably right here. And this will fit. And I'll have another copy here. And it will also kind of fit. Okay, this is uh, a bit uh, strange, but we, we can fix it. This and with such change, it, it will also fit, fit uh, in this build. Actually, we don't even need to do that, because uh, the idea here is to do it like this, I believe. No. No. Like... Uh, this. That's the idea. And we can just connect this thing. Connection here, connection here. And our catalyst, still tight, and first continue. What happened here? We, we don't have power. We do not have power. And the problem is that I don't know which part is consuming the most power. That is a problem. That's a problem. That I don't have an answer um, to. I don't know how to detect which of the blocks is experiencing power outage. You know, maybe it's not worth trying to figure this out. Maybe that I should be focusing on... Maybe I should be focusing on making sure that uh, we have enough power in the first place. Maybe we should be focusing on having power in the first place. So we we kind of want to have uh, enough power all the time. Let's see, this thing. It's not doing anything. This one. Not doing anything. This are working so maybe that's the problem and this this doesn't do anything but this two are working maybe the problem is uh, this chunk production we need, we need I can't even take a look and see So the issue here is that it's a transformer. It requires a lot of energy. Maybe it's our mall. I wouldn't be surprised if our mall required a lot of energy, but it's not. It's just 10 megawatts. This one is good on here. This can be it. Yeah, that's also like what, 10 megawatts. Something. So not connected. Well, this one is, but it's not supposed to connect it. Yeah. Okay, we are using 25 megawatts for one of these blocks. And we are using 25 for this one. Are they connected? Yes, they happen to be connected. I don't want connection between them. I want them to be powered separately. So this one uses 22. This one doesn't use anything. Oh, I, I guess you could say that it doesn't use anything. 
I also have a connection here. Right, I need to cut it. So this one, 20, 20. These blocks require a lot of power. I, I think that's the problem. Didn't really expect this to be the case. But now that I think about it, it kind of makes sense. Like, look at this. One block, when it's working, it requires, like, it is 20 megawatts. And this one. Another 20 megawatts. And another 20 megawatts. It's zero. One megawatt. Another 20. So we increased, like, this blocks one two three four five six these six blocks need 120 megawatts they basically need their own power plant to power them that's a lot that is actually a lot and the thing is i i'm not really sure where i should build the power plant, the next one. I don't know. So in theory, could place power plant here. just power everything. I, I could place it here, because here. I, I don't think I will need this block for anything. So I could power like vertical lines of these things with some power. This one and this one with the power plants like ded dedicated for, for the column, for the smelting column. Yeah, that might be a, a, an okay idea, but the thing is I want it to be a nuclear one. I don't want to like play around with uh, small power anymore. Like with like a couple of hundreds of megawatts. I just want to uh, generate huge amounts of it. And then deliver it somehow, maybe uh, on this path. Like we could have a power line, kind of crossing everything and delivering it right there. Oh, what's happening here? Okay, stuff is working. So good, th good thing is that it's a problem only for for the chunks, like once we need the chunks. Um, but it's kind of a bad situation to be in, to be honest. I think it's not great that we have uh, these kinds of problems with the base. Uh, again out of power. Okay, let's uh, let's get back here. It's already uh, been kind of a while uh, since we started the episode and we still haven't finished it. What, what's the problem? Right, seriously. We're producing gears over there. Why don't we produce gears right here? Here. Have gears. What's the issue? The issue is that we need a stack inserter here. We can have stack inserter for the gears here. That's fine. We can have stack inserter here. We can probably have stack inserter here as well. Right, Th those will be built at some point. Let's get back to this uh, process, w what, what we are doing. We were requesting mineral catalyst, stereotype, and creatinium. Let's request mineral catalyst. Okay, on, for sure. Why 
is this... Okay, it's, it's fine. It was just, I guess, uh, old blueprint or something. Um, Stilatite and Cretinium, right? That's the plan. Let me quickly double check. Power stations looking. So we don't have control signals for this two stations. Do in, do in. Okay, we do have a couple of stations without control signals, unfortunately. But at the same time, I don't really... Like, I don't want to go through all the stations right now and, like, fix them. I just don't exactly see a point in that. And all of these are good. So that's, that's nice. The, these stations are good. This ones also have... Proper uh, requests, you could say. Pro 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 proper configurations. Proper configurations. Alright, let's see what's going on here. This seems to be looking pretty good. Uh, we are missing. One, two, three. All right, out of power again. I can't believe it. I really cannot believe it that we run out of power. That's so unexpected. It's really unexpected. So what if we produce some power here, like nuclear power? What if we make, uh, okay, let's say we have let's say we produce some. Uh, Uranium. Where is it? Right here. See, where is it? I, I don't see it. Uranium. Uranium. Okay. Let's say we produce it here. Right. So we have uranium here. We can. In theory, we can reduce the fuel right here. Maybe. L let's just uh, add it. Let's just add some markers. Which kind of fuel do we need? Um, no, it's not nuclear fuel, right? We need to. Uh, Fuel cell or something. Which? Oh. Uh, okay, that is too complicated. Maybe we need to have a whole block for that. Maybe we need to have a whole block right here, dedicated to uranium and like the processing of all these things. Because I'm not sure, like, the ore, we can get it here, that's fine, maybe. But I'm not sure I'll, I'll be able to figure out all, like, processing steps uh, uh, over there. Right, here, let's say we just want for now to connect it, you know, directly, like this. And we want to have these things also going directly. Into the station. Yeah, it's enabled. That's good. Nice. Let's say that's our plan. 
And there is enough space to kind of move some ore to the side somehow. And also to like get back the what's what's the name of this? The coils. I never played with coils by the way, ever. But the thing is we require much fewer coils, so in the worst case we can like we can just get one belt of coils and have this balancers like this uh, inserters rebalance our houses. This should be fine. What I really want to do, I want to make sure that this this block starts the production. That's what I want. Oh, it's too slow. Just do it faster. Oh, what? Interesting. Copy it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. It should be good enough. And we are still missing belts. So this should produce, like, this should give us a lot, and I mean a lot of copper. We, for some reason, are not actually short on copper. Or. Oh. Right, because it's uh, being delivered now. The shot on Cratinium. Let's take a look and check priorities. Do I prioritize taking things from here? Priority. I can maybe do it on the station side by name. Finding output here it has priority. Yeah, they basically look the same. Okay, it's, it's looking good. I was checking. Uh, I was checking that this outputs like dedicated to one material have a slightly higher priority, you can see that they have priority one, it's a chest with a star. And I want this crushed material to be taken first before, before this ones. That's basically the idea. And you can see that uh, this builds up pretty busy with production of some of the ores. Right, let's get back to look at this thing. Copper is still being delivered. That's fine. It looks like cretinium is actually our problem now. We need a lot of cretinium. And catalysts and well catalysts will get fixed. Uh, it's it's not a problem, they will be delivered. The lack of cretinium is a little bit uh, concerning, to be honest. Just a tiny bit. So, how do we increase the amount of cretinium to are producing? We finish this block, I guess. I, I, I don't have any other uh, kind of idea except finishing this one. The problem is that we do not have... The problem is that we do not have power. Let's uh, figure out what we can do with power. Yeah. Fuel reprocessing nuclear power. What is that? Fuel cell advanced uranium fuel cell. What is the difference? So we are producing uranium 234, 235. Okay, so the difference is the fuel cells. 
Let's take a look. Your know, cell. So, so let's say we have this one. Th this one is a regular one, this is the advanced, the advanced one. What can we do with it? Just stop running if you sell. And, uh, okay. This is the regular one. It. Let's see it. And they used fuel cell. We also didn't see it. Thorium. Deuterium. So the thing that I don't get, I don't get the difference between 234 and 235. 235 seems to have more value, fuel value. It is significantly larger, basically 10 times larger than that. And deuterium, wow, it's even more larger. Here, plutonium, fusion, and plutonium, press plutonium, and we're getting plutonium from plutonium in gear. Um, okay, for that you basically just need, uh, let, let's get back, for this one we need uranium-234, oh, it's 234, 238, how do we get 234? We get it from uranium ore, and this one, 235. We're also getting it from uranium ore. But the majority is 238. So we are getting mostly 238, a little bit 235, and a tiny bit of 234. Okay, got it. So we basically have like a combination of them, and we need to to properly process all of them, uh, somehow. Okay, that, that is uh, not that difficult. Right? And we have a couple of like, different processes, whatever. We'll, we'll figure this out. So I, I feel like this one is not really needed. You stop mixed. Mox, what is this? Mox. Plutonium based power systems. is looking pretty complicated. I think the problem, well, not the problem, but uh, the thing that made it more complicated is the fact that I'm using uh, Angel's Industries mod. So it's not like standard uh, C block in terms of nuclear. And I, I, I believe Angel's Industries actually changes these things. And we could, uh, maybe we'll be able to see. Somewhere. Can, can we see which mods touch this? No, I, I, I don't I don't see anything here. Uh, tell them like which which mod was actually responsible for that part. Um, let's see what's the problem. What is the problem? Nice. We don't have a problem. We finally got our first uh, block. Uh, not block, our first uh, train delivery. It's good. Let's delete this part. Let's delete this one. We will resume building city blocks here. 
Um, and I wanted to be here. I'll just place it here. I should be able to deal with both of the swarms. And at the same time. Also, I want... And, and later I will move it a little bit forward. Actually, I'll just move this part forward. This one, yes, we can, and we should definitely shoot. Nice. Do we have a direct connection? I want to copy this part with the um, geodes so that uh, we have uh, even more. Uh, so that we have uh, even more of. Uh, Crushed boss. Yeah, we need a little bit of accumulators. It's taking a while to produce everything, actually. Uh, I wonder, is our accumulator production just uh, broken? In a way, where are the accumulators? Here they are. And the problem with them is that. They don't have enough batteries. And the issue with batteries is uh, that I'm, I'm not sure what's the problem with batteries. Uh, one thing that we almost forgot, we almost forgot to connect this, and we should say that this is enabled if the amount of uh, copper ore is less than 50. Thousand, right? That's how we are doing stuff. Okay, we have a threshold, provided threshold 150 stacks. So this is looking pretty good. Uh, it should become. Okay, that explains the problem. kind of I'm surprised a bit because this amount of uh, ore should be able to reach the final certain facilities like we need eight of them we, we need seven and a half we calculated that and here we have eight right and we, we saw here that we need yeah we need 30 in total to be able to process 2 red belts of crushed stereotype and 2 red belts of crushed continuum. That means 30. And we have here 32. So this shouldn't be a problem. It, it should work. We're producing lots of copper. Let's check what we're missing. Oh, look at this. We are missing a lot of copper, and because of that, we are missing a lot of uh, copper plates. Nice. That is good. Oh, look at this. It's kind of beautiful. The way <laughs> everything is produced and everything is moving. It's so nice. I think, yeah, this. Uh, where is it going? It's going to produce glass. Right, because we still have bad uh, glass production here. We are trying to research it now. It's kind of random research in some sense, uh, because it doesn't immediately help us with anything. But, uh, you know, might as well have it. So we have lots of this flickering happening, and I don't like that. And the flickering is happening because we don't have accumulators on the input side. So, usually on the input side we have a couple of accumulators, so let's set them. Here, have them. Uh, here we don't really have space. Uh, we have computers there. Why? So what's going on? How is the power connection working here? Very strange. It, it, it's okay. It's just uh, I, I forgot about this part that we haven't uh, actually repurposed this one for anything.
Alright, let's take a look. So we're producing a lot of copper, we'll run out of uh, cratinium at some point. We are expanding. Yeah, definitely expanding. And uh, we probably want to continue building this part. I don't want to place a uh, port here just yet because I want to first deal with this uh, worms. So with this worms uh, we'll deal there. And with this worms we'll also be able to deal somehow. Like uh, here maybe. Let's take another look. So it will work here. Nice. Nice, this is actually looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good so far. I like it. Let's take another look. We need to finish this block. And it's working. And we have first delivery. Going to... Going... Here. It'll take some time. It'll take a little bit of time to load everything into the train. But it will work fine. So now we're able to move 21,000 of uh, copper ore. Uh, of any ore. Of like normal. Uh, ingredients, no, normal products with a stack size of 200. Let's take a look, let's observe. And this thing right now, it's not actually working. Oh, sorry, this one. Yeah, it's, it's out of copper. So one thing here, this is supposed to, let, let, let's let's do something this is supposed to have to be higher priority than this one so I actually want to tell it that the priority let's say 10 this priority is higher than that one and I also want to do the same for this thing because this has a like a mixed uh, production without catalysts and we want it to what do we insert in here? Okay, I guess the excess of things. That's fine. Um, and we want first for materials to be taken here, uh, then from some other places, let's say dedicated to uh, iron production. And one kind of thing to keep in mind. Any place like this one that just okay, we are not actually exporting iron. We don't have iron in the logistic network. We don't. I'm surprised. Oh, we don't because uh, we placed uh, this thing here. We are consuming all iron. That's good. We can also kind of do the same thing uh, here with consumption. Okay, we have a consumption of tin. Consumption of copper. We have it. Could create one for the copper as well. Because I, I don't feel like we really need to, you know, to think too much about copper. We just want it to like we just want copper gun, right? And it'll be delivering it uh, right here. Do we have copper? I would assume we do. We don't have copper. That's uh, very, very surprising to me, to be honest. 
why this is the question why we don't have copper anywhere. Oh, and this was our chain, by the way. This is the chain that came from the ore uh, station. It's, it almost finished unloading, but uh, look at that. We have a lot of copper now. We have a ton of copper, and it's getting converted into copper plates. So from now on, we actually shouldn't have a problem with uh, copper plates, because this thing should be fed for the most part. We might have a problem... How much copper are we producing here? Fifty-four. Okay, that's not enough copper. <laughs> we need like double of that. Uh, I'm actually thinking maybe I should rework these two stations. Maybe this should be dedicated to... Tin... Plates... I don't know. Or maybe we should just extend this one a little bit to produce a little bit of copper because we should be able to right we could have a smelter kind of here not not smelter but uh, uh, induction furnaces here and we could have blast furnaces uh, somewhere here that actually like smelt the thing you can take it from here bring it down process here and bring it bring it to the smelter and just smelt them and export in this uh, warehouses yeah, I, th I think uh, that's basically what we can do. But first, for that, we need to make sure that we don't have uh, problems with Cartinium. And right now we do. A shortage of Cartinium. Uh, why this are not built? Right, we, we had some issue uh, with something. I don't remember. Oh, with batteries, right? We were shot on batteries. So what exactly is the problem with batteries? Why? Oh, we don't have plastic. That explains it, yeah. We really need to have plastic, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell Altian, like, you know, Altian, keep in mind that this thing is the most important. It's really important for us do we have to? it's really important for us to feed our main mall because we need like we want to be able to actually place buildings that's important right so the priority should go here and when we have next uh, batch of plastic available like the next one uh, it will happen soonish will actually come uh, right, right here and it will be good. Now let's uh, do what we usually do. Uh, oops, problem here. Mm, and we need this to be naphtha. Yes. Uh, we barrel it. And we might have some processing of naphtha uh, over there. Let's check. Well, not processing, but uh, requesting. Fuel. Did we move the fuel? I think we moved the fuel. So we don't have fuel anymore, anywhere. That's good. So it means that this can be deleted. I think we only need to move some naphtha right uh, here. That's uh, that sounds pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's move to this block. So today we built this city block that uh, produces a lot of copper, and we even had a couple of deliveries already. Fortunately, this part is a little bit short on uh, cratinium. Or a lot shot on cratinium, I guess. That's how you <laughs> look at it. Basically, we don't have cratinium. 
but uh, I have a plan for that. I want to copy our geode setup from here to here, and this should produce uh, some amount of uh, cretinium so that we can, you know, start so that we can uh, have like, less issues with uh, copper and we, we, we can focus on other things. Speaking of other things, what exactly is needed uh, by our base? We need plastic. So this part, if you look at it, it needs copper, obviously, but it also actually requires lots of plastic. Where is plastic? Is it going here? No, it shouldn't be here. This is... Uh, we have glass. We don't have silver. What? No, not silver. Something else. We are missing something. All oh, right, that's another copper. We don't have copper. We are basically missing like five hands of copper. That's that's fine. Uh, we we are short on plastic. Our is it? Our current plastic production is just not able to uh, sustain our red chip production, and we always short on it. Like always short on plastic, short on resin. I tried to play around here a little bit. And we kind of figured out uh, the start of the process, but uh, yeah, we even started requesting charcoal. But it, it will take time for us to uh, switch this one. Maybe maybe that's what I will be doing in the next uh, episode. Actually, maybe I will uh, continue fixing plastic and fix the plastic finally. Meanwhile, we are still shot on Cartesian. Anyway, this block works, right? We have some copper here. It worked fine uh, without any issues, and I don't expect to see more issues actually from this block. It should just be slowly doing its thing. And um, yeah. Let's see whether this change helped us with the uh, copper situation. Now, I guess. We have a cretinium <laughs> shortage instead of copper one. And cretinium is being produced here. So we cannot really say that, like, look at this. Uh, a couple of them are red. But this. This is red. This, this was yellow. And now this one is yellow. I'll figure it out in the next episode. We already like this was already pretty long, but we have a problem with uh, this build. It seems like they're turning yellow once in a while, and I don't like that. Okay. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and I hope to see you in the. Next episode. Cheers.